Hello guys, what is up? We, today we're doing the inside decaling of this modern house. The episode is short, pretty, uh, posted, sh I cannot speak today, as I could not speak in the last video, which is only five minutes apart. Anyways, so, we're doing the inside decal. You know what that is, is we're going to do all the fanciest the stuff It's going to make you go wild. Now, the outside is a big portion of it, but the inside is also a big portion now, although the outside is a bigger portion to me. The decaling on the inside is very harder for some people. And they may not, may need to know how to do it. So I'm going to show you how. First, we're going to start with lighting. Now, lighting is a very hard issue in most houses because people don't want to use torches in modern houses because you know it'll look too uh, not fancy, I guess you could say. Um, and they don't want to use glowstone either because. You know, it would look to something else. And people say they use sea lanterns, but I say screw sea lanterns. So what we're going to do is we're going to use glowstone. Anyway, because we're savage like that. Anyways, what we're going to do... No, what am I doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. You can... I, I got myself confused. I was about to blame you for that one. I'm sorry. All right, so now, simply like this, glowstone block and two leaves on top and trapdoors all around it. That's your simple lighting. Now the bottom is already lit up by these, so we don't need to put any light in here. And, uh, oh yeah, we, we definitely need light in here. I mean, it's not light enough yet, so. There we go, now I'll just show you. Alright, now what we're gonna do is clear that out. We need iron. We need iron door and iron block. We need a button. We need a dispenser. And that'll be it. And then what we're gonna do. Right here, we're just going to put a little fridge. Put that, we're going to put the iron door right there. And just put the button right on the side of there. Click that, food comes out. Now, you want to see how it works? Uh, French fries, no? Okay. Um, so, we're going to go to this. And we're going we're gonna to eat some raw fish today. I'm feeling a little savage. We're going to put it all in there. There you go. Doesn't matter where you put it. Anyways. Just click that. And, oh, how that happen? Basically, it opens the iron door and pushes out from the dispenser, thereby opening and closing your fridge, disclosing food to you. So it works. Plus, it looks good. Wait, no, it doesn't look good yet. Gotta add some uh, some more fancy stuff to it. Just put a slab on top. No, it's not what we want to do. There you go. Put a slab on top there. There we go. Now, what we need for our second part is gonna be a cauldron. A lever and an item frame. Now this thing may not work on some. I played on servers before where they kind of screwed up the item frame, so this might not always work. But anyways, you're gonna put an item frame. Oh no, sorry. You're gonna put a lever, then you're gonna put an item frame behind it. Flip the lever like that, make it look like a spigot, and then you can either have it full or not full, or you know whatever works for you. Just fill it with water. You can do the same with the trash can. Just don't add any of that stuff put that but I guess we're, we can do a trash can in the garage kind of fits so there you go got a little trash can in there trash no I'm just joking alright now we're gonna come back in here and we're done no I'm just joking alright we're gonna go up here we're gonna search in redstone now what we're gonna grab is a weighted pressure prey but ah uh, sorry no we're not I am sorry, I just do not know what I did. Alright, we're gonna take an oak door. We're gonna do a slab of your choosing. I suggest not using that, and I suggest using a wood, so I say birch. Just use birch, and just put it right there. Sorry. Right there. Put that right there, and you have your own little chair. No, wrong way. There you go, chair. Sit out and enjoy the sunset. All right. Then we're gonna do the same thing out here. We can't miss what's out here. No. It's not what we want. Definitely not what we want. Just do that. Put another one right here. There you go. You have your little lawn chairs to look out from. Amazing. Now what we're going to do. Delete that. Sorry. Alright. We're going to go in here. What are we going to do? Are we done? No, we're not done. Now, please note that you can do whatever you want. This is not, 
you know, people, you can change it in whatever way you want. So, you know, it's, it's not like, you know, this is how it is and it's not going to look good without it. No, that's not what I'm saying. Alright, so this is going to be the garage slash bedroom. Because who doesn't want a bedroom in the garage? I mean, it's, it's always been my dream. I don't know about you guys. But... Yeah, don't worry about it. No, I'm just joking. Alright. It's always been my dream to have a garage in my bedroom. Some famous guy said it anyways. Alright. Then just put something above it, like so. To give it that show. No, I'm just joking. In many survival cases, if you build this house in survival, that probably will kill you. So let's not do that. And then finally, we're going to add a laptop. And a, sorry, laptop and a fancy thing, furnace. Uh, yeah, we're just going to add the laptop. Anyways, so we're going to go door. Grab one of these things, and we're going to go to slab. Let's go with birch again. We're going to go with painting. And then we're going to go with stair. Let's take this spruce wood stair, and we're going to put it upside down. Like, no. It's not exactly what we wanted, but no. Yeah. There we go. Alright, we're gonna put it. No, that's not what we want either. There we go. We're gonna put that right there, and then put the door like that. Put pressure plate. You can use any pressure plate. I suggest stone. It looks more like a keyboard than any other. Oh my god, Jesus. Okay, there we go. You have a little laptop. You have uh, some lighting. You have, uh, you know, this little college refrigerator, sink, and you have your bedroom in the basement. Hashtag dreams for life. Now, what about the decoration on the inside? This is not something that can, needs to always be added, but say it's a city or a town or something, and you want to make a whole bunch of these, use World Edit, you're going to need to have, well, I mean, if you use World Edit, this isn't really going to work too well, but, but we're going to do it anyway. What we're going to do, simply break out something like, see, this, this really doesn't matter. The pattern, the amount of spaces, it don't matter. Just make some random amount of things and then fill it with gravel. Fill it with gravel. Fill it all with gravel. And then take a fence. You need a fence of your choosing. I suggest the same material that you build that with. Then you need glowstone and a trapdoor. Sorry. Trapdoor. Oh, and another slab. I'm sorry. Again, the same same thing as the uh, spruce fence would be suggested. So we're gonna do two up there, two up there, and then we're gonna put glowstone on each one. Again, put slabs on both, and we want a trap door, not trap chest. And then put trap doors. Yeah, we're gonna put some trap doors. That is what it's called. Sorry. Yeah, trap doors all around it. I was trying to make a joke, but I failed miserably. Alright, and so now, are we done? No. Yes, no, I'm just joking. We're done. That's gonna end it. No, I'm just joking. Alright, and we're gonna put some grass around it. Put some grass around the entire house, actually. Now, do not put bone meal, because it's gonna put flowers, too, unless you want flowers. If you want flowers, then that's fine, but I don't like flowers over my house. Because I, I like, you know, death and sorrow. No, I'm just joking. Alright, we are going to use flowers. I'm just going to put a pink tulip here, there, and no, just, it doesn't matter where you put it. And that's going to do it. There's your modern house design. Should have probably put this part in the um, main video, but if, you're, if you watch both of them, then... Yeah, you're good. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and remember to like and subscribe, you know, if you enjoyed, leave a comment. Thank you for all your support, and thank you for watching. I hope you build this in the future. It would really appreciate me. If you could build it and take a picture of it, send it to me, it would be amazing. I like to see people uh, do my work. Um, so thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Stay modern.